The Amazing Spider-Man. He was bitten by a radioactive spider and given strange powers. He feels responsible for his uncle's death and became a hero to atone for that mistake. The Mighty Thor. He is the Asgardian God of Thunder. He wields Mjolnir and has dedicated his life to helping those in need. Both were on missions to infiltrate a floating fortress over Washington, D.C. Both were bombarded with energy, along with an army of hulked-out soldiers. Both are now falling, and this is what happens. Transformed into hulks by the cunning hands of the intelligentsia, Thor and Spider-Man descended forcefully upon the serene expanse of the National Park in Washington, D.C. Thor bellowed at Spider-Hulk, urging him to rise, emphasizing the urgency to join forces with A-Bomb and Scar in their relentless clash against the formidable AI Marines. Spider-Hulk, grappling with diminished cognitive prowess due to the transformative effects of the Hulk, found himself somewhat befuddled and sought clarification about the adversaries they faced. Yet, his attention wavered as his keen senses were drawn towards the iconic Smithsonian Institute. Recognizing the familiar landmark, Spider-Hulk's mind meandered into the recesses of memory, reflecting on times past. It was when Peter Parker was just a young teen before he ever became Spider-Man. His Aunt May and Uncle Ben were helping Peter get ready for a field trip to the Smithsonian. Uncle Ben recounts the first time he went to the famed museum and makes a joke about the dinosaurs having flesh on their bones. Uncle Ben tells Peter that he wishes he could have took Peter himself, but money is tight, but remarks about how proud he is that Peter won a competition, winning the trip. Ben tells his nephew that he should have lots of fun with the other intelligent children who get to go on the trip as well. With his recollection complete, Spider-Hulk advances towards the building, while Thor observes the ongoing battle, devising a simple strategy to halt destruction by causing destruction. However, as he turns to instruct Spider-Hulk to prepare, he notices the web-slinger tearing the main doors off the Smithsonian to gain entry. Undeterred, Thor charges into the fray against the AI Marines. When overwhelmed by a swarm of opponents, he urgently calls for Spider-Hulk's assistance. Surprisingly, Spider-Hulk is nowhere to be found, prompting Thor to take matters into his own hands. He incapacitates the hulked-out soldiers with a powerful bolt of lightning. Infuriated by the perceived abandonment, the Thunder God storms into the Smithsonian in search of Spider-Hulk. There, he discovers Spider-Hulk engrossed in studying a plaque explaining a display of dinosaur bones. Thor insists on the urgency of joining the battle, but Spider-Hulk remains fixated on reading and delving into the details of the ancient bones. This behavior triggers Thor's reflections on his own childhood experiences. Centuries ago, the All-Father Odin orders his son Thor to include his brother Loki in his games. Thor doesn't like this idea, because Loki is strange and likes strange things. Still, Odin insists, but Thor balks, saying that Loki has no interest in sport. Odin questions if Thor ever invited Loki along. Thor's silence on the matter is answered enough for his father. Odin insists that his son be noble enough to lift the hammer Mjolnir telling him that part of that would be including Loki in his games, explaining that making him a brother in more than just name is a battle in and of itself. Having completed his recollection, Thor becomes insistent that Spider-Hulk abandons his reading and joins the ongoing battle. Ignoring the request, Spider-Hulk faces a threat from Thor, who warns of an impending attack if he doesn't comply. Spider-Hulk, unfazed, turns around and expresses a desire to be left alone, urging Thor to take his Mako games, Elsewhere. With a hint of mockery, Spider-Hulk suggests that Thor may have forgotten the purpose of their fight, further fueling Thor's anger. Despite Thor's demands and threats, Spider-Hulk remains steadfast in his decision not to rejoin the battle. In a fit of rage, Thor raises his hammer, ready to strike one of the dinosaur's displays. Before he can carry out the threat, Spider-Hulk intervenes by webbing up Thor's hand. A clash ensues between the two Hulks with Spider-Hulk managing to temporarily immobilize Thor by webbing him to a wall. However, the Thunder God channels lightning, breaking free from the webbing and knocking Spider-Hulk off balance. Seizing the opportunity, Thor leaps into the air, preparing to deliver a potentially fatal blow. <laughs> 